Hey, 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 what's up everybody? It's HTG Brian here, and we've got some more LEGO The Incredibles for you. This happens to be New Urban City Park Free Room. Now, no trophy achievements earned in this video. However, we are going to get some collectibles, and we're going to have a good time while finding them collectibles. So, hey, let's go ahead and jump right in. Keep in mind, we do have some quick links down below in the video description. If you're after a certain item, perhaps like a red brick or something like that, feel free to use those links down below. As you can see, Syndrome is totally endorsing those links. Now, uh, as per usual, we actually have a... Uh, local challenge here it happens to be called the set in stone challenge for the city park area and you can see we've used the quick travel point here and it actually happens to be just to our side there now depending on which way the camera was pointing it may be to your left or to your right but either way spin that camera around and knock that horsey out of sight Look at that, we've got uh, another one just across the way, right down the street here in front of the big old hotel. we got another one hiding behind the trees next to a park bench. So we'll go ahead and give that the old cha-cha-cha-cha-cha treatment, and we will move along to the next city park challenge, which happens to be, well, you got to follow the road around the corner here, and right on the corner next to the old blown sprinkler head, we're going to find number three. So that's right. Sorry, horsey. You're number three. All right, next up, we got to go down and around, so we're going to follow this monorail down just a wee bit, and I'm going to kick in the turbos here and then hit a hard left when we come back to the old maze wall there, and after we get another block up the street just under the monorail, we're going to find yet another one of these little horsies. All right, once you uh, take out the neigh, it's time to be on your way. <laughs> All right, moving along, the last one is back here in this far parking lot over in the corner on the far left side of the area. Go ahead and take him down, and we are ready to move around. That's right. I don't know why I'm in such a rhyming mood at the moment. I'll, I'll hit the pause on that. How about that? And look at that. We've unlocked Victress as well as Gold Brick number one for the area. Now, that's why we were doing these specific challenges to the areas and not the global ones because the global ones don't really count. However, we did kind of mess that up because we were also grabbing the uh, ambient crime challenges. So uh, we kind of uh, mixed and matched what we wanted to do and what we didn't want to do. But as it turns out, we're going to come back and do all those other challenges here in a wee bit. So, oh, to the yeah, we've got ourselves a gold brick that was tucked away in that first little parking lot there and an incredible brick, which was in the little, uh, I guess it's a little grassy knoll area right across the way. And, oh, there's an ambient crime happening here. And although we have already solved all of these, we're going to go ahead and grab them because, you know, we're a good citizen. First of all, we like to make sure our peoples are protected as well as we get a few bluesies and a poiple toozy. And we've got that 60 times multiplier on right now. So that those chips stack up quickly. Next up, we got another incredible brick just on the outside skirts of the walls here on the opposite side of the maze that we've been on. And now we're going to hop into that amazing maze. That's right. we got a couple of items in here, including the first one we're going after is an incredible brick, which is tucked inside this box. If you walk in from the other side, you might not notice that there's a brick inside. But because we came in from the aerial view, we actually saw it was right in there waiting for us. Thank you very much. All right, next up, we've got this, uh, this gold brick. I was kind of confused. I wasn't sure where to go here, but uh, you can see there is a silver shiny ball in the middle here and oh it's indicating that we need some sort of a silver brick breaker so i get up close to it and toggle to my character select wheel which look at this because i'm close enough it actually shows me which characters have the silver brick breaking ability now you guys should probably have bomb voyage from completing the story as well as a couple of his little cronies there too and as you probably noticed the anchorman goon also is capable of tossing some bombies so uh, you know, pick your favorite silver brick breaker and go ahead and take it down. And next up, we're going to actually fly right back over the edge, get to this race. You know how we like to win us some races. And as it turns out, we actually totally failed this race. So uh, I, I only say that because you're going to see a hard edit here in about three, two, one. Bing! You see see the shadowing that happened there? It was kind of kind of hard to see, but... If you were paying attention, you probably noticed it. But yes, I did not succeed on this. I actually got caught up on a couple of the turns here, and I went the wrong way, or, or just like what you saw happen, happen, and I missed it. I had like 18.01 on my first attempt. So I, I failed, but just barely. But the game wasn't being lenient enough to give it to me. So, you know, like in golf, when you, when you putt, and it's like right there, but not quite right there, they call it a gimme. <laughs> you know? Yeah, the game wasn't feeling no gimmies. All right, what do we got next? Oh, we got a family build. It happens to be a Pixar build. And we're going to get, uh, I'm probably going to say this wrong. Is it Merida? 
from the movie Brave? Like, that, that's another one, you know? And, and as soon as I was building this up, Reese called it. He goes, oh, it's Brave. I wonder who it's going to be. And then we got Marita, and he was like, oh, it's her. <laughs> so I don't know if, like, I'm assuming she's a big part of the show. But, you know, I, I, I just, I've never seen that. So we actually own it. Um, I know I keep saying that I'm going to watch all these. I just haven't had time. You know, the daily routine has been a little crazy this summer. Uh, and hopefully it'll tone down sooner than later. However... Uh, you know, I, I got some movies to catch up on. A good, uh, what is it? A Good Dinosaur, Brave. Uh, you know, I could probably watch Wall-E again. It's been a long time. But anyway, so I got to get caught up on my Pixar movies. We're at least all on the same page on that. But uh, we'll go ahead and add Marita to the old character token select wheel there. And guess what? We got some studage and a gold brick too. Make sure you pick up all them studs as, again, they add up rather quickly. Now, don't go too far. As you might have noticed, this was a family Pixar build, so we got ourselves a red brick locally, and it even popped up on our map. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle through a sharp shooting character. Now, there are a few of them locally by, we, I should say we've unlocked them, not, they're not just hanging out locally. But we're going to go ahead and use Marita as she has what we need, and it only makes sense as this is kind of her little area. So we'll take out the three barrels inside, rebuild them into a fire, and look at that, it heats up that gruel, and oh, we got the two times stud multiplier. So we have just gone officially from 60 times to 120 times because we're going to multiply that by two as soon as we turn this bad boy on, which happens right now. And I don't know what just came out of her. It looked like it came from her backside. <laughs> uh, you know, look at that. I'm not sure what's going on there. Again, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know what that is or what's going on. But it looked like she let out a little tootsie and it was alive. That's what it looked like. I'm just saying. All right. Moving along, we're going to go ahead and fly up to the northeast corner of the area and take on a really easy and credit brick that's just actually hiding behind an umbrella on the beach. Right by the beach, man. So we grab that and moving along. You know, I probably should have gone and did that family build just because, or excuse me, yeah, family build. I don't know if, no, it's not a Pixar one. It's just a regular family build. But I saw this gold brick over here in the water and I thought, you know what? I better go check it out. And look at this. We did a butt slam rebuilt into a giant fishing pole and. <laughs> We got ourselves a gold brick. That captain there, the sea captain, he doesn't look like he's very happy that we just fished up his gold brick. He looked like maybe he wanted to keep that for himself. But nope, we get to take it. We helped you. We get to take it. Now, this is another one of those family builds that only cost two bricks. And wait a minute, there's only three of us. What? Now, I never really figured out why some of these have two, why some of them have three, and why others have four. But uh, it's not really necessarily a family build when the whole family's not here. That's kind of how I'm feeling anyways. But what's this guy? Uh, oh, yeah, this is one of those strongman machines. And I got to be honest, I could not figure out how to use this thing. And Reese was sitting next to me, and he was determined. He kept shooting out ideas that were actually worthy ideas of maybe how we could get this thing to work. As I'm assuming there is some sort of stud payout if you can actually ring that bell at the top. So, look, I run away, and Reese is like, oh, you should have done it. So I go back, and I stand on the circle, and I hit the button. It says hold circle. But, see, that's my special move for syndrome. It's not actually doing anything special spectacular for the bell so then Ray said oh you gotta use a big character I thought, oh that's actually not a bad idea so let's go ahead and toggle over to somebody a little bit larger and I said like who and he said like Sully and so I pulled out Sully and he goes no Mr. Incredible which you know maybe Mr. Incredible was not you know not a bad idea but look I just I can't seem to figure out anything here and I was wasting enough of your time so I said all right let's get out of here next up we've got ourselves an incredible brick right on the edge of the beach here and again, right by the beach, man. This one's actually tucked away in a little, uh, I don't know what that is, some sort of a little uh, underground passage, perhaps. And then we got a gold brick out on these hippa to the hoppas, but we're just going to skip all of those. Look at, they all look like gold bricks. That would have been cool if we would have got a gold brick for each jump we made, right? That would have been super sweet. Now, uh, I kind of ran into, not, not yet, a, a little bit of a game glitch. And it happened to me on the last area, too. Like, I, I feel like the game is confused, and it doesn't know that I've completed the story. Now, I may be wrong. I may be totally missing something. Unfortunately, Tyler P. is on a vacation where he's not even in his local grounds of Canada. He's down in the U.S. of A. right now. So he doesn't have access to, like, really look at his notes or even fire up the game and play it. 
uh, to see. But, you know, essentially I run into this objective here in a little bit as I grab these couple of easy peasy and credit breezies. Uh, this this objective pops up and, and it doesn't really ever go away. And it happened to me last time too. And there's just nothing there. And I've got all of the collectibles for the area. So I'm not sure what is going on. Like right now, that objective is not flashing on my map. It's only when I actually get close to that area that it starts acting a fool. And, and you know, it's been a while and there, there was a little bit of an edit right now. <laughs> you can see that there. Um, you know, as we just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And any underwater character will do for this race, by the way. You do not need Dory. However, if you do have her, feel free to use her. And if you have not used her yet, you will get a trophy achievement called Just Keep Swimming. But yeah, back to that objective that I was talking about. Yeah, I just I don't understand why or where it's popping up from and, and why it did it in the last two areas. Because like I said, again, I have all of the collectibles for the area. I don't think there's anything I'm missing. I guess we'll find out if I get all the way done with free roam and do all the extra challenges. And I still have some stuff laying around. But see, you know, nothing in our guide says anything about these objectives. And I do kind of roughly remember those objectives from the story. But see, again, it's been so long since I played those. I mean, it's been weeks, unfortunately, due to real life stuffs and, uh, you know, everything else. It's just taken me weeks to get this done. And, and hey, let's be honest. The last couple of games have kind of been that way. Life has been very busy. And, uh, you know, video games are a priority, but not the utmost. Life, real life first is kind of our motto around here. So... All right, as we continue to sweep the beach for all sorts of things, you'd think we had some sort of like a uh, metal detector or something with all this good stuff we keep finding. And I made a boo-boo here. I had an underwater character, and Reese noticed that I was going for the water, and I switched to an aerial character, which made me switch back to an underwater character. So my bad for wasting a little bit of time there. But, hey, check it out. We've got another Incredit Brick. We can all celebrate that. And moving along, we've got a Gold Brick off to the far end here. Kind of the southeast corner of the old city park free roam area. And this guy just happens to be hanging out in a box underwater. It's a go brick in a box. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. Moving along from that dangerous song there. Uh, we'll go ahead and toggle another incredible brick. So we are getting pretty close. Oh, there it is. There she blows. So now all of a sudden, see that I've got this giant yellow flashing circle on my compass. And although it is right over the Incredit Brick that I've targeted, now that I've grabbed it, it's still flashing. Now, if you know something I don't, please let me know in the comments down below because I couldn't get rid of this. Now, Reese and I also saw this other weird kind of overlay when we were looking at the map before we started this. We were, we were actually looking at the map, trying to get uh, a screenshot of the overall area. As you notice, the thumbnails are using those kind of screenshots. And when we did that, it actually gave me an option to, I believe it said, I wish he was standing right here because he'd help me remember. Uh, it was like reset story. I think it's reset story, I think is what it said. And I didn't hit the button to do it. But maybe that the game is confused thinking I did or something. And look at that. Oh, man. This was funny, too. I missed that. You see that? The Boinger shot me through the ring but didn't count the ring as progress. So when I went through the next one, it didn't count those either. But look at that. I made it all the way back. And as I'm watching this, I was thinking, oh, crap, I forgot to edit that out. Well, guess what? I didn't forget to edit, any, edit anything out. I actually make it to the end of this race. Look at that. I still had five, almost five full seconds left. So pretty crazy that I actually missed that, flew through the air in slow-mo, and still had enough time to come back. But anyway, so, uh, you know, we're getting to the home stretch here. That little flashing yellow marker is still there, kind of making me scratch my head. And I'm looking at the collectibles as I target the next one here. I think, oh, I only need three gold bricks. I see one, two, three. Uh, there's a race there. You know, so I'm like, look at, uh, yep, there's three. There's, I guess we already had the race. This one was kind of suspect. This one's right on the edge. So I look too. I'm like 14 out of 17. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. Did this guy count for city park? It has to be though, because we, oh no, we didn't do downtown yet. That's right. I've already recorded it, but we hadn't done it yet. Um, all right. So anyway, so we got that guy. It counted for the city park. So that's definitely related to this one. And next one, we've got this little beep, boop, 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 boop. That's right. We've got some computer hackage that we got to do here. And we're going to drop the old uh, window washing. Uh, I don't know what those things are called. I forget the old balconies. No, there's, there's a word for these. I can't think of it though. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and ride this bad boy up. It's like scaffolding, like mobile scaffolding, but that's not the word for it. Oh, and we got some gold. We're going to need to go ahead and melt that with somebody with a laser. That's right, the laser beam. And Wally will do a good job, so we'll go ahead and melt that. And oh, to the yeah, inside we've got ourselves another gold brick. And 
All right, so we need a flying character to get to the last two collectibles. It looks like we're going to go for the Incredibrick next. And according to our mini-map there, it looks like it is down below us. Now, I probably should have gone up first, so we could have just plummeted down to that Incredibrick. Because the final gold brick is up above us right now, actually. But we'll get it. Don't worry. We'll drop it like it's hot onto the old balcony. Ooh, this is funny, too. Watch this. Ha! I thought there was a glass wall there preventing me from dropping down on that little... Uh, I don't know why they did that. That's weird. Normally, there would be some sort of a covering there rather than just having a logo pasted to a wall. It's usually like, you know, a balcony type thing. Not in this case. All right. Last but not least, we got one more gold brick. And it's like I said, it's all the way at the top here. It's on another one of these window washing scaffoldings here. And maybe I, maybe that is the right word. I don't know. If you, if you know that, drop me a comment down below, too. I know it's a little late for the video, but hey, a little, uh, you know, knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. So here we go again. We've got this weird objective. I'm actually going to fly down there and check it, check it out. But there's nothing going on there. And I still have no idea. I, I feel like this is some sort of a game boo-boo. I really do. And now I'm here again. And, you know, I'm going to feel like a complete maroon if there is something going on. But look, I'm flying up. And now it's telling me down. And there's nothing here. And, and I already got all the collectibles for the area because we're going to go ahead and pop that right now. Look at that. So we've got 17, 17, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 1. And keep in mind, those handcuffs are the crime wave, which we did in another video. So there is a city park crime wave. But, you know, I, I, again, I don't know what that yellow flashing is. If you do, let me know. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for LEGO The Incredible City Park Free Room. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Check us out on social media if you're into that kind of thing. And, of course, interested in maybe winning some free stuffs from us. And, uh, but, yeah, that's going to do it for me. As always, until next time. That's right, we got downtown coming up next. See ya.